another busy week coming your way in terms of gaming news as the Summer Game Fest was in full swing. First up, let's talk about Avowed. Obsidian gave the first glimpse of the gameplay for the action RPG Avowed. Based in the Pillars of the Eternity universe, it's been a few years since Avowed was unveiled during the Xbox Game Showcase back in 2020. This year's showcase unveiled the first look at gameplay and a release window of 2024. A new trailer features a lone figure stepping off a ship, entering a battle with many swordsmen ready to engage. We also see the character equipped with double pistols for another fight, swords, bows and axes are all shown. Avowed also gives players the ability to wield magic in first person. Like in other Pillars of Eternity based games, players will not be exploring alone. Avowed sets to bring a group of companions to join you on your adventure. The first to be introduced is actually the narrator of the trailer, Kai, who belongs to the Coastal Amawa. Avowed will be released in 2024, coming to Xbox Series and PC. You'll also be able to pick up the game on Xbox Game Pass on day one. As with all news mentioned in this video, the link is in the description below. At long last, we finally get a trailer for Fable. The comical trailer revealed at the Xbox Game Showcase featured comedian Richard Ayoade as he plays a character who's a vegetable enthusiast, whatever that means, who talks about the bygone era of heroes and adventurers. We get a montage of a character getting into brawls and into some semi-harmless fun at the tavern, but interestingly enough, we see them wield fireballs with their hands as well as a quick peek at some sword combat. According to the video, this is all in-game footage as well. It turns out our narrator is none other than a giant who is at odds with our protagonist. It ends with a sandwich, because why not? The visuals are stunning, with fantasy overgrown pumpkins and mythical creatures. Unfortunately, no release date was given for Fable this time around, but we can't wait to see more. Starfield got a massive deep dive this week, going into detail about combat, exploration, ships, skills, and more. The Elder Scrolls Studio even revealed a Starfield Chronomark watch, a gadget which will be released alongside the game in the Special Constellation Edition. The Starfield universe is an expansive one, having over a thousand worlds, which is not new info, but continues to confirm that there'll be plenty to explore in this RPG. You can visit just about everything you see, including the moon, how you view your surroundings is available in both first person and third person, which was confirmed in the deep dive. Other details touched upon in the showcase included how guns react in places with less gravity, using ballistic weapons will push you back as you fire, so opting for energy weapons could be useful here as they don't have the same pushback. Mag weapons offer powerful laser beams, and there's also a good one-two punch if you prefer taking things into your own hands. Speaking of weapons, the developer shared that there are tons of weapon mods, which might be Bethesda's most weapons and weapon mods yet in a game. As for early access, players who order the premium or constellation editions will get 5 days of early access. This is just a quick overview about the details mentioned during the Starfield Direct. You can always hop over to our Starfield wiki for all the latest info. An interesting title revealed this week was the time-bending RPG Clockwork Revolution. Being developed by the same studio that worked on the Wasteland games, NXL Entertainment had an announcement trailer. This title is a mix of steampunk set in the Victorian-era metropolis of Avalon, a picturesque-looking utopia, but it hides a rather dark secret. Lady Ironwood, a ruthless figure, has manipulated the city's history using time travel, altering key events to take advantage of history for her own power and greed. Clockwork Revolution represents a significant milestone for NXL. It is their first AAA first-person action RPG developed under Xbox Game Studios. Previously, NXL Entertainment has delighted players with tactical and isometric games, but Clockwork Revolution will be all about action and steampunk. There was no release window, but we definitely have our eye on this one. Cyberpunk 2077 fans can rejoice as the Xbox Game Showcase featured a new gameplay trailer for the upcoming expansion Phantom Liberty. More importantly, CD Projekt Red also locked down a release date for September 26, 2023. The DLC is being touted as a spy thriller, and its narrative seems to be shaping up to be quite good. Phantom Liberty not only expands the storyline, but also introduces exciting gameplay mechanics. We got to see some sweet new weapons being used, with a heavy emphasis on silenced weaponry. This keeps in line with the whole spy theme. While not directly related to the expansion Phantom Liberty, CD Projekt Red has promised an update that allows players to shoot from their vehicles. This should change up combat quite a bit. 
The DLC can be purchased as a standalone for $29.99 USD on PC, or as part of a bundle containing both the expansion and base game on PC and Xbox. New details were shared about Capcom's highly anticipated sequel, Dragon's Dogma 2. Director Hideki Itsuno spilt the beans on some details. The sequel's open world is going to be four times bigger than the original game. It will keep what fans loved best, the pawn system, letting players co-op with AI characters. This we kind of expected as this is the essence of the action RPG's combat system. The pawn system is getting a bit of an upgrade though, combat wise since the decade long title was released, as it should. These AI driven characters are now more precise in their actions. These helpful group members now can offer some help navigating and even give a quick morale boost by giving you a high five. The whole premise is to make you feel like you're fighting alongside your own band of adventurers. Noticeably, Dragon's Dogma 2 has had a graphics upgrade, its high def visuals are running on Capcom's RE engine. While nothing too shocking was revealed during this quick update, it's good to know features that fans loved from the first are returning. It soon it does promise new details down the line, but we're itching to hear more, especially about the new vocations that he teased. The Last Fate revealed its high gothic horror aesthetic and brutal souls-like combat in a new minute long action packed gameplay trailer. The Metroidvania, being developed by Kumi Souls Games, announced the title will be launching digitally worldwide in October for major consoles and PC. The latest trailer showcases the meticulously handcrafted environments, formidable enemies, and the arsenal of unique weapons and abilities at protagonist Eric's disposal. We also get to see tons of the game's dark gothic art style in full macabre display. Players will get to unleash their fury with a wide range of melee weapons, arcane spells, and other ranged firearms. Some of the weapons include massive scythes, precise crossbows, longswords, and gigantic greatswords. One of the more famous features of the Souls-like genre is the massive, larger-than-life bosses. In this regard, the last fave does not seem to disappoint. The one-minute-long footage gives us a glimpse of some truly terrifying foes, wailing banshees, skeletal werewolves, and other demonic monstrosities. If you can't wait, head to the Last Faith website to sign up for the beta, which will be taking place this summer via Steam. Next on Games have announced their cross-platform beta test for the first Descendant will be happening from August 22nd until the 28th. The action RPG shooter will be free to play available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam. The game is expected to launch sometime in Q4. Taking a shooter looter and combining it with mystical powers, the title's being developed with Unreal Engine 5. Players can team up with up to four players in a group to take on bosses. The game is crossplay, meaning you can team up with others no matter the platform. As for the beta, players will get to experience the first Ascendant with new single player and co op stories plus missions. There'll be new characters to try out, improved grappling hooks to get around, and more. There's also the mighty giant boss raids featuring the Colossus, where you can fight in a group of four together. The previous beta only allowed testing of three characters, but this beta teases 13 characters to try. A recent trailer debuted at the Future Games Show at Summer Game Fest 2023, spotlighting the Lords of the Fallen Jewel World Axiom and Umbral. It previews the dark fantasy's immersive setting, the developer Hexworks also shares more about how players will dip into both worlds. In case you missed it, Lords of the Fallen is a reboot of the 2014 game, taking place a thousand years later as players take up the role of a dark crusader. Visceral combat against large horrifying beasts matched with deep storytelling means we're in for an immersive experience. What's interesting about Lords of the Fallen is that the game has two parallel worlds. The latest look at the game shared more about how these worlds are interconnected. Both worlds feature their own pathways, characters, and loot. In order to explore Umbral, you'll need to use the lamp at any time to reveal the dual world. One way is to be slain in the living world of Axiom to wake up in the same spot in Umbral. Another way is to perform the Umbral Rift, sacrificing two of your lives in order to enter. This death mechanic certainly has us intrigued. Lords of the Fallen will be unleashing on October 13th for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. Also this week was the unveiling of Final Fantasy XVI, the demo, which was made available on June 12th for PlayStation 5. A new trailer concentrated on the PS5's capabilities and how the game is taking advantage of its hardware. The demo offers two lengthy sections that showcase the game's captivating gameplay. First, delve into the opening prologue providing approximately two and a half hours of the experience, where you'll gain insight into Clive Rossville's past and the events that shape his present day journey. 
The progress you make in this section can be carried over to the main game upon release, offering a seamless continuation of your adventure. Final Fantasy XVI takes a darker tone offering a complex tale of revenge, power struggles and of course unavoidable tragedy. The game introduces icons, reimagined summons that reside within dominance individuals who inherit these immense powers at birth. Once you complete the prologue, you'll unlock a special battle demo, a thrilling two hour segment filled with intense action. Join Clive as he infiltrates a fort under the cover of night, aided by his loyal wolf companion Torgal and Sidiflis Tellman. Final Fantasy XVI will be launching on June 22nd for PlayStation 5. Did you take on the demo? What did you think of it? What were your favourite announcements during the Summer Game Fest? Let us know in the comments below. Well that's it for the week in the wikis, please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids and general wiki goodness.